I'm comfortable and confident in myself that I don't think no one could guard me, so. Hey, I know what he means. I'm confident nobody could defend me in the media bowl where I had four touchdown receptions, at least until the second half. Last words. Uh, make sure your back's straight. Okay. Make a scary face. Oh! Related to Tony Bennett at all, or am I just... Oh, you are? Son. Oh, really? Hey, I can see the resemblance. And we're cousins. This is exclusive interview right here, for the record. Let's put this puppy to bed in style. Hail to the fans where you ask us your Redskins questions. The gates have opened, and we are ready for some Virginia Tech football on 8 Sports. It's about that time, 8 Sports, to conclude the week here on 8 News. Compared to last year for LeBron James, this year's edition of the NBA Finals with the King is miles ahead of the Heat Spurs series, mainly because we have a Game 5 with a tied series. We head back to Oakland. The Cavs and the Warriors know the winner of Game 5 in a tied series usually goes to win it all. Need a pulse check from Oracle Arena? Draymond Green has you covered, raising the roof to deafening heights. End of the first half, tight battle. Curry going to miss the layup. LeBron James tries to rebound. Harrison Barnes all over the king. Draws the foul with the putback game. Tied at 50 at the half. To the winning quarter, LeBron James living in the clutch. Chance to tie. Quick ball movement. James to Shumpert in the corner. His 10th assist. That's James' sixth career triple-double in the finals. Don't forget about the Splash Brothers. Steph Curry, the chef is going to work in the kitchen making deli sandwiches on Matthew Delvadova. That's just nasty. Golden State retakes a two-point lead. Under three to go. Warriors starting to pull away up seven. Curry! As the kids say, that's wet. Stephen Curry, the league MVP, 37 points, seven three-pointers. LeBron, 40 points, 14 rebounds, 11 assists. Warriors are one game away from their first NBA title since 1975, 104-91 the final. The Washington Nationals now look like the team many analysts envisioned to be the clear-cut favorite to win the 2015 World Series. The man who brought along those lofty expectations, Max Scherzer, signed a massive contract to win. Playing the Brewer crew in old Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Scherzer had his best stuff on display against the Brewers. 2013 Cy Young winner took the kids to school, bringing out the entire arsenal. Sits down Hector Gomez, Martin Maldonado, swing John Seguro, strike Carlos Gomez, chopping trees with that swing. You get the idea. Scherzer, 11 strikeouts through six innings. At that moment, I realized he also has a perfect game bid going, as you can see via Twitter. Now, there's an unwritten rule you never mention a perfect game going in the midst of a bid. Well, the jinx happened, and this tweet says it all. I blew it. I'm sorry, DC, and I'm sorry, Scherzer. So no perfect game for Scherzer, but does finish the complete game shutout with 16 strikeouts. May not be perfect, but darn near close. Nats win 4 to nothing to stay within a game of the New York Mets. On Shapir, grab your numbers. Here comes the lottery. Tony Bennett began his coaching career at Wisconsin as an assistant head coach. He then moved to Washington State and would become the head coach. Now he's leading the Cavaliers to their back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances. But could you believe he wants to play professional basketball? And guess where? Here in Queen City. He played from 1992 to 1995 as a part of the new Charlotte Hornets organization. It's three years he cherishes dearly. I have such fond memories of those three years when we got to the playoffs and I was Alonzo hitting that shot uh, against the Celtics. Um, so I, it just is a great memory for me. The experience playing with legends Muggsy Bogues, Alonzo Mourning, and Del Curry has been a great teaching point for Bennett. I learned so much from those guys from that time. Um, that I share a lot with our players. You know, when I talk about Muggsy's heart and Dell's ability to lock in and get in the zone and just use those experiences uh, through Alonzo's competitiveness, I can go down the list. But like we said at the beginning of this story, it's hard to picture this man doing this in the NBA. I tell my kids or other people, yeah, I used to play for the Charlotte Hornets. They're like, they're not in the NBA. You never played in the NBA. So I had a, you know, now at least I got some validation that it was a team in the NBA when I was playing. It's been two decades of time and space between Time Warner Cable Arena and Tony Bennett. Somehow, Destiny has pitted these two together one more time. And if he can create the Buzz City magic once again, the Cavaliers should be able to defeat the Bruins and advance to the round of 32 while not looking back. It's clear the San Francisco Giants have a winning formula. Three World Series titles in five years. Not a formula that involves trades and big contracts, one that goes beyond the Bay here to Richmond. Fun to watch you guys like him. This was Kelby Tomlinson talking about other squirrels in June. Here he is in August. And a base hit to right field. It's 2-0.
something. I went to the office and I saw the highlights and I was very happy for the kid. This week he registered his first hit, first start, first RBI, and first run in the majors for the Giants. Hopefully he's another guy to stay there for a long time. And that's the beauty. From top to bottom, the Giants organization is getting it right. Developing talent at the Boulevard to help win a World Series for the Bay. We do something good here, you know. What it is, I don't know. It's probably a secret. Three in five years to drive the point home. The chemistry that we have through the whole system is amazing. Matt Duffy, Joe Panic, Brandon Bell, Brandon Crawford, Chris Heston all started in Richmond. Chris Heston has thrown a no hitter. That's what I told these guys. I say every day you have to just come right here, play hard and leave everything on the field. They haven't won the Eastern League yet, but when you're sporting World Series flair, it's a privilege to be a, a Giants. It's easy to let go. The ProSize family makes up a large percentage of the Petersburg community. The ProSize, they're everywhere. I mean, you walk around a corner, you might, you could probably see your cousin. Two of these cousins, CJ and Ray ProSize, are representing their family on the football field at the highest levels. The beginnings for them weren't easy during their childhood. Life was difficult where they grew up. I seen a lot of violence drugs. Bad influences both stayed away from. It was tough. You know, it's a it's not the, the best environment, but we may do it what we had. Being a pro size does have its perks. The two players had great family support. When you find somebody like Junior that's really doing good and it's going to make your name proud, you always try to support people that's doing good, even though you support people that's not doing good because everybody needs some support. I told him I wanted to play football. Ray, you got to head it. You got to get in the books too. Their paths diverged in high school. Ray stayed close to home and is attending Virginia State. I wanted to bring something back here that everybody could be proud of. Currently, he is at the top of his engineering class and was voted preseason all CIAA in football. He's a role model in the program. He's an engineering student. He's a good football player. He's a great person. I want all my whole team to be like Ray Procise. CJ attended Woodbury Forest School in Orange, Virginia, a boys boarding school. He was such a special player here. I don't think I ever saw him fail at anything he ever tried to do. Knowing Woodbury was going to give him an opportunity to maybe go a little bit farther, certainly academically, he was going to be challenged and and his goal was be prepared for college when he went. Now he's the starting running back for the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. I think the mental side of things, I think the, the kind of the structure that I went through with Barry really helped. I'm always out there just working my hardest, doing everything I can to help my team win. They've spent years apart. They really don't have a chance to see each other that often. But their goals are the same. At the end of the day, they love Petersburg and they love the ProSites family. I do a lot for this for the city, the people here, family, friends. Well, I'm happy to represent that uh, Petersburg every day. For 8 Sports, I'm Chip Briere. We'll be right back with more 8 Sports Blitz. Good work. Are you kidding me? That's not good enough. Line up and do it again. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay.